Hello, so today I just want to show you two tricks uh, in Go uh, for your functions. So let's start with uh, a function. We're going to call it fn, and fn is taking uh, a string a and a string b, and it's going to return just a string. So we can just return using uh, for the format package and just uh, concatenate a and b as string. So how it works, you just send uh, a first string and then a second string and uh, we can log that. So we can assign that to S and then we just log S basically. So if we try that, you can see hello world. So far so good. So the first trick is to, you can remove the type of the first uh, parameter A because it's the same as B. So then you have a shorter signature and it's still working. So you can do that as long as the following arguments are the same type. So there we can add C as another string and just concatenate C with A and B. So there you go. Uh, quick uh, fix here. You see that it's all glued together. So you can use a sprint line instead of sprint and then you go. It's adding a space after each argument. So that was the first trick to shrink a bit your signature if you have um, same following arguments with the same type. So for the um, second trick, um, it's, a, it's about slices. So then our function is going to take a slice of ints and then uh, speed back a slice of strings. So um, quick basics review here. So let's just loop uh, through our ints, uh, our argument ints. So with a range. So you do for i range ints, and then we just log um, the second argument, which is the element, not the index. So how it works when we invoke uh, fn with uh, a slice one to four can see that it's printing one, two, four here. So, so far, so good. So now we just want to build a slice of string off this uh, slice of ints. So traditionally, what you're going to see is um, using the initialization keyword make. So we want to make a slice of string uh, with uh, zero as length. Or you can just uh, say the length of s is going to be the same length of ints, which is our uh, argument. So here the first uh, um, argument for a range loop is the index, and the second one is the integer, basically the element that you're looping on, basically. So then classic, we can say that um, the element at, at the index of s is, uh, and then this is your logic, this is going to be a string we can say my integer and then we can just um, send the integer from ints, basically. Um, and then um, we want to return that uh, slice of string s. So then uh, we can just uh, log that uh, the result of the function fn like that. So then uh, you can see the slice with my int one, my int two, and then my int four. So so far so good. So let's just make a, a tiny uh, change to show you the trick. So uh, another way to achieve that uh, kind of loop is uh, to um, do not give a length for your slice of strings, and then what you would do here is just using the keyword uh, append. So basically, you want to mutate um, the slice of string by appending your new element. Uh, so therefore, you don't need the index anymore. You can just um, loop with the element. Uh, let's double check that everything is working as intended. So if we run again, you have the same result. So far, so good. So the second trick is um, uh, a quick shortcut for the signature. So basically, you can name your uh, return type. So here, our return type was just a slice of string, and you can name it S. 
and Go is, do is doing the initialization for you. So then same result again. So it's a sugar syntax, it's a trick, so it's saving you one line. So here the trick consists in uh, naming your um, return type and let Go initialize um, the type for you. Bear in mind that it's gonna only initialize maps, slices, and channels as it's uh, based on the make uh, keyword. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the two tricks and happy coding.